With the promised arrival of spring come all the fun things that go along with it. Spring cleaning, gardening, making summer plans, and of course, going green. A great way to give back is respecting the environment. Author, blogger, mom extraordinaire, Laura Wells McKnight is here. Laura, good morning. Good morning. This is great because easy, simple easy, activities. simple. Mm -hmm. And there are things we haven't thought of, which right. I like. It's, well, sometimes it's the most simple things that you haven't thought of that you think, Wow, I can I can actually do that. That exactly. wouldn't be hard and that would be fun. And going green is one of those things that doesn't have to be difficult. Exactly. It's not reinventing the wheel. Sometimes we try to make it that. Okay, number one, take an inventory of all things green. What does that mean? This is fun. You can get your kids, if you've got your kids on some afternoon when you don't know what to do with them. Exactly. <laughs> Say, kids, we're going to go take a green inventory. And, you know, just even throwing a color in with some fancy word like that makes them think you're going to do something fun. Yeah. And so you take a stack of index cards and put a big green X on each index card, get a roll of scotch tape, and walk around your house and put that X on all of the places that you're going green. So when we did this in our house, we put the X's on the thermostat where we had turned down the heat at night, so we're saving energy, right? That's easy. We put the X in our uh, recycle bin, uh, the light bulbs. So if you're using uh, light bulbs that are low energy light bulbs, that counts. So I had the kids put the green X on all of the ways we found in our house that we were already going green and maybe just didn't know how good we were. And you made it like a little scavenger hunt. They probably had a ball. They had okay. a wonderful time. Something I never thought of, I have to tell you, study your recycle bin. So, yes, you really should. The, the recycle bins have a wonderful set of instructions on the top of the ones that are in the, the garage, you know, where you put your recycled material. And uh, there are rules and tips for recycling. So sometimes I think in my house, at least, we are not the best at mm -hmm. following all of the directions. So it can be a fun activity to go through your recycle bin, which is usually not quite as yucky as your trash can. Exactly. Right? And go through the rules with your kids and say, okay, kids, we, we, glass goes in a completely different place. Here's the type of plastic that can be recycled. Here's cardboard. It's a good exercise for kids to learn what's recyclable and what's not and the recycle guys will really appreciate yes, you. Yes, they will. Yeah. And we forget, We actually. forget. It's a good reminder yeah, for all of absolutely. us. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Read books about the environment and mm -hmm. recycling with yeah. your kids. Yeah, that's easy to do if at the library or at the bookstore. Look around. There are a lot of books geared to children about the environment, about organic, about going green, ways to learn about the environment. We picked up a book at the library a, a while ago on what happens to your garbage and that's a really interesting topic for kids because okay. they can relate to something like garbage. You don't have to say environmental to a child. You can say <laughs> let's talk about garbage. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh, fun. Fun. Oh, let's read a book on garbage. <laughs> but that is fun. So there are a lot of books out there so even something as simple as reading time can be a way that you can teach your kids to And like you said it's something they normally wouldn't reach for on their own but if you suggest it mm -hmm. in a fun yeah, way. Yeah they like it. They're yeah. there. A little suggestion. Okay, Miss Baker extraordinaire, bake yeah. something with a hint of green. Yes, well, everything that we do in our house <laughs> that relates to doing good and giving back has to involve somehow cake because oh. otherwise it's just not quite exactly. as much fun. So you can uh, get little organic edible flowers at Whole Foods or some kind of a health store. That is amazing. Yeah. That is organic and edible? That's or that cake is not all organic. Okay. But every we, little bit helps. Every little bit helps. So that's what we say. Every, <laughs> everything counts. So the bottom of that cake is uh, decorated with those organic edible flowers. And you can do that with any kind of a cake or anything that you're baking. I do like to try to incorporate uh, doing good in the baking process because you know it makes it more delicious. And right? when you can get the words ooh la la in there, yeah, looking and we at always that, have to say ooh even, la la. Even better. <laughs> Laura, ooh thank la you. La. You can find a link to Laura on our website, kctv5.com, and click the Better KC tab.